One of the most powerful tools that you can use in the hue, saturation, luminosity, and grayscale panel is the targeted adjustment tool. Instead of guessing which slider to adjust, you can simply click and drag to the left or right, or even up and down in the image area to make your changes. Let's see how this works. I'll select the colorful buildings and then use Command R or Control R in order to open that file in Camera Raw. The targeted adjustment tool is up in the tool panel and you'll notice that it also has a drop down menu. So if I click and hold, you can see that I have a targeted adjustment tool that will adjust my tone curve, my hue, saturation, luminosity, or grayscale mix. We'll go ahead and start with a grayscale mix. Because I selected the grayscale mix, you can see that Camera Raw automatically moved me from the basic panel over to HSL. And this is where we converted our images to grayscale in the previous lesson. Previously, we were using the sliders and just moving them back and forth in order to adjust how a certain color range got converted into a grayscale tone. With a targeted adjustment tool, I can simply click and drag in my image area and Camera Raw will select the color and then based on the direction that I drag, it will make adjustments. But the best thing about using the targeted adjustment tool is that if I click on a color that's made up of more than one color, so maybe it's red and orange, or it's orange and yellow, then Camera Raw will go ahead and move multiple sliders at once in order for me to make that adjustment. So let's give it a try. We'll start in this building here in the center, and if I click and drag up, you can see that the blue slider moves to the right and the blues in my image gets lighter. If I click and drag down, you can see that the blue slider moves to the left. The aqua slider is also moving just a little bit, but there's not a lot of aqua in this blue that I've initially clicked on. If we move over to the next house and I click and drag up, you can see now that both the red and orange sliders are moving. If I click and drag down, then they'll get darker. Now you have the choice. You can either click and move up and down, or you can click and move left to right. When I click and drag to the left, you can see that it's also darkening down that color range. When I click and drag to the right, it would lighten that color range. If I decide that I want to work with a different targeted adjustment tool, for example, maybe I want to switch to saturation, then you'll notice that Camera Raw took me out of the conversion to grayscale and is displaying my image in color. But the tool still works the same way. If I click in this blue area and drag up, you can see that I'm changing the saturation slider now. I'm making the blues more saturated. If I click and drag down, we can desaturate a single tonal range. If I click in the red house and drag to the left, you can see that the red and the orange sliders are moving to the left as I desaturate. And if I click and drag to the right, it's going to increase their saturation. Now, if I want to control either the hue or luminosity, I can either click on the tab here in the panel, and then when I click and drag down, you'll notice that the reds are getting darker, or if I click and drag up, the reds and orange are, are getting lighter, or I can select a different targeted adjustment tool. If I change this now to Hue, you'll notice that it automatically selected the Hue tab on the HSL grayscale panel. So now if I click and drag down, my aquas are going to move more towards green. If I click and drag up, they'll move more towards blue. So the next time you're using the HSL or Grayscale panel, instead of just moving the sliders left or right, try using the targeted adjustment tool. I think that you'll find that it can be used in very creative ways in order to make selective changes to different color ranges in your image.